let's read the question students number of hydrogen atoms involved in hyperconjugation in the following carbocation is students first of all we need to know that alpha hydrogen atoms on carbon next to sp2 hybridized carbon atom participates in hyperconjugation so in this carbocation first we have carbon with a positive charge on the left hand side it has one carbon in on which three hydrogen atoms are attached below there is one carbon on which three hydrogen atoms are attached on the right hand side there are two carbons but on the directly attached carbon atom there are two hydrogen and on next carbon there are three hydrogen so the hydrogen atoms which participates in hyperconjugation are this hydrogen this and this which is equal to so number of alpha hydrogen is equals to a that is 3 plus 3 plus 2 so the correct answer is option number 2 moving to the next question students which is 52 most powerful base among the following molecule is student first of all we need to understand that basic strength of a base depends upon the availability of lone pair on the nitrogen atom so let's find out in option number 1 the lone pair of nitrogen is delocalized with the pi bond in option number 2 the lone pair is delocalized with two pi bonds in option number 3 the lone pair of nitrogen is not at all delocalized on the pi bond since there is no pi bonds in the compound moving to the last option ch3 CH two C double bond O NH two. In this case, also the lone pair of nitrogen is delocalized with the carbonyl group, that is with the pi bond. So, among the given four options, the strongest base is number three, since the lone pair is not shared with any other pi bond and is all time available on the nitrogen atom for donation. That means number three is the correct option. Moving to the next question, students, which is fifty three. in the geldals method for estimation of nitrogen in an unknown compound ammonia evolved from 1.25 g of a sample required 25 ml of 1 molar hcl solution for complete neutralization the percentage of nitrogen in the compound is the options are 28 34 45 or 75 students in geldals method nitrogen present in an organic compound is converted to ammonia and then it is further estimated by titrating against an acid and the formula of calculating percentage of nitrogen is equals to 1.4 multiplied by milli equivalence of ammonia upon mass of the compound student in this case mass of the organic compound is given which is 1.25 g also milli equivalence of ammonia produced is equals to milli equivalence of hcl consumed for neutralization so we can calculate milli equivalence of ammonia and for that we need to calculate milli equivalence of hcl which is equals to milli equivalence of ammonia is equals to milli equivalence of hcl which can be calculated by multiplying the volume with molarity so 25 into 1 is equals to 25 so percentage of nitrogen in the organic compound is equals to 1.4 multiplied by 25 upon mass of the compound which is 1.25 which is ultimately equals to 28 percent that means the correct answer is option number 1 which of the following compounds can exhibit keto enol tautomerism student first of all let's discuss the other name of tautomerism which is prototropy in this case hydrogen transfer takes place either the hydrogen should be at the alpha position to the sp2 hybrid carbon or at the gamma or at the delta position to the sp2 hybrid carbon let's start with the first option c three hydrogen atoms c double bond o in this case the sigma bond will shift to the cc bond this pi bond will shift towards o minus and this proton will transfer at the o 
which ultimately forms CH2 double bond C O H benzene. This is the keto form and this is the enol form. Moving to the next option, this is benzophenone. Student number 2 will not show tautomerism. Moving to number 3rd. In this case, there is an hydrogen atom at the gamma position. So, this converts here, this moves here and this pi bonds will move at the oxygen. As a result, the compound formed is double bond, double bond here O minus and this proton will be transferred to the O. Here it will be 2 CH3. This is the keto form. This is the enol form. That means number 1 and number 3rd will show keto enol tautomerism. So the correct answer is option number 1. Moving to the next question students which is 55. Most acidic compound among the following is. Student, first of all, we need to understand that more the stability of the conjugate base more will be the acidic strength. Let's start with number one option which is phenol. Student, in this case, the conjugate base will have five resonating structures. As a result, the conjugate base will be very stable. Moving to the next option. In this case, one methyl group is attached on the meta position of phenol, which is an electron donating group, which ultimately destabilizes the conjugate base formed. Moving to the next option, which is Meta nitrophenol. Student, in this case, nitro group is attached at the meta position, which has a minus I effect. As a result, stabilizes the conjugate base so formed. Moving to the last option, which is para nitrophenol. Student, the conjugate base of this compound will be more stable since here NO2 is attached at the para position, which shows minus R effect. As a result, the conjugate base of this compound will be more stable, or we can say that para nitrophenol will be most acidic. So, I am writing the order of acidic strength starting with para nitrophenol is the most acidic among the given options. Next, we have meta nitrophenol. In this case, nitro only exerts minus I effect. Next, we have phenol. In this case, no minus I group is attached. On the other hand, last we have methyl at the meta position of phenol, which in this case, methyl exhibits plus I effect, so it is least acidic. So, the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to the next question, students, which is 56. 